Hey guys, this is Matt with Thrive Energy. So what I got here is the 2018 Evolution Power System. Um, actually, I should say this is more of a prototype. This is built out of uh, last year's model, but it's been updated um, to 2018 uh, controls. Uh, so, you know, the big feature, the big change for this year is full automation. Um, on this machine, it's um, full push button operation. Um, so, you know, operating a gas fire couldn't be any easier than on this machine here. Um, you don't have to, there's no valves that you have to open. You don't have to light nothing. It does all this on its own. This here is the, the ignition system. That's the air intake to supply air to the igniters. And then you have some igniters up here. And then this is uh, the Flex R1 um, reactor. Uh, the 2018 version is a little bit different and it will include the HDRS. Um, I can't really tell you what that is. <laughs> it's secret. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean our basic uh, Flex R1 platform with a collection tank. Oh, Sagey thinks I'm talking to her. So uh, yeah, you get your clean out for the ash. And then you have access over here for the uh, cyclone clean out. Cyclone, chiller. Uh, down in here is the blower and then your automated valve for the to exhaust out to the flare tube. Final filter system and then that's your air mixer. Oh and uh, the CHP there. And then, of course, our Kohler engine. You got your uh, throttle control. And then here's the control panel for gasoline operation, which I just got done running uh, on gas. Um, so basically this, um, well, actually our, our controller overrides this, but um, to run a gasoline, you just simply turn the power on and then... And just So there's a little bit of gas in there. Yeah, that'll help us get started. I don't know, wood gas. And then of course you got your auger, um, the loading platform, and then up there you got your uh, your main lid. You got a big opening for uh, dumping fuel. Um, oh, and then uh, there's another valve back here, and that's your um, main intake for natural aspiration. So once the machine is lit, um, this valve will shuttle closed and that valve will shuttle open and then supply the air jets um, for the intake air. And the augers um, got this topped off. Just got a simple flat sensor with a proximity switch that reads that that sensor so when the auger feeds in here it pushes up on that flap until the sensor reads it and then that will shut the auger feed off um, a change that's coming is we won't be putting the the exhaust on the side of the hopper next year um, it's actually integrated into the frame and you'll have two uh, ports that you can plumb into for uh, inside installations um, but it, but you know it, you do have to be uh, ventilated but uh, you know two two uh, ports one can go to uh, to a dryer system for your fuel and the other can go to another CHP system or you can just vent them both outside or one of them outside or however you want to um, do it um, so that's the basic overview of the machine. 
So I guess we'll uh, fire this thing up. All right, so basically you have your control panel here. Um, this is your on, on switch. And this here is to engage the starter. Sage quit. And then we got the uh, air fuel ratio um, meter, through the digital readout. Eventually that'll get integrated into the controls. Um, but to fire the machine up, you just simply uh, turn it on. It'll boot up just like a, a normal computer. And some of you may know that uh, this is a screen for a Raspberry Pi. This is a, a Raspberry Pi 3. It has Wi-Fi capability, so that's going to lay the foundation for uh, web monitoring and web control um, in the future. So here's our basic user user interface. I mean, it's pretty simple. You got four buttons and then a slider control. Try to do this. And what I'm doing is controlling that, that valve. So when you get ready to fire the engine up, um, you just basically open that valve up with that slider. Now you can just touch on one side of that and you, you can see that I'm slowly opening it. And that's how I'll use the slider. You don't have to actually press the button and move it. You can just touch on either side of it to, to fine tune it. So that's kind of a cool, that just kind of worked out really well. That wasn't uh, actually planned. All right, so basically the, the oh yeah, the user manual. You got a user manual. It's all integrated right here on the, on the screen. And that'll get um, updated as we go. Um, now this is version uh, 1.0. Um, this is basically just uh, kind of like a semi-auto um, setup. Um, and this is really the foundation for when we go full auto. Um, right now, this is the way you control the machine. But when we do have full auto, that, that'll be how you'll fire the machine up. And that'll just be one, one button press. And then it'll do it all on its own. And then these other modes are basically for troubleshooting or if you just want to run it into a flare mode for a while, um, just just for to monitor the machine, see what kind of um, gas you're making. So you'll have uh, you know options to um, run it in different modes. But for now, this is the semi-auto mode. So to turn the machine on, you start out with the first one. And you see it saying ignition cycle active. So we'll give it a minute and. Uh, See if she fires. You'll hear a click, and that'll be the igniter's uh, turning on. So that's our igniter's coming on. And there's already smoke. So we'll just stand by until our temp temperature set point one has been reached and then this will tell us that the uh, ignition cycle is uh, complete. This isn't exactly fast. It's not as fast as like if you were to do this manual, but you know, the, you know, if you don't want to fiddle with all that stuff, then this is the way to do it. To get a good combustion going on in, in there before we go into a flare mode because we want it to light off uh, fairly quickly. So this igniter going off again. <laughs> I 
with some other things uh you know because this is kind of demanding on the, on the battery so we don't have uh the cooling fan um on liquid cooled uh uh chillers the the phantom pump and all that will be off the uh hopper agitator will be off great agitator is off basically we're just running the blower and the, the igniters Okay, so so ignition cycle is complete. We can go on the flare mode. So we just shuttle uh, the valving to uh, natural aspiration, and now we'll start firing off the uh, the igniter glow plug for the flare tube. She just lit. So now we wait some more. <laughs> because on this machine, um, the controller wants to see that the flare's been established and it also wants to see that the reactor is um, hot enough. Um, we don't want to be producing tar or anything in our, in our engine. So, you know, it, like on a manual machine, you're not gonna know these things. Um, you're just gonna be going by, you know, you know, basically winging it where this machine uh, knows what's going on uh, through those, those sensors. And it also wants to see that the flare uh, is established. Um, if, if it's uh, intermittent, it, it won't uh, allow you to go into an engine run mode. So the reactor temp, is uh, up to parameters. I'm trying to hold this as steady as I can. So, saying the flare is getting established now, and now we can uh, enter into the generate mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and uh, I'm gonna try to fire it up one-handed.
hot fans working. We're still warming up. I can give it more throttle. Haters louder than the engine is. Alright, so okay, you're up and running, now you want to shut it off. Basically all you have to do touch that button now in extreme emergencies. Then you can hit this button and that kills the whole thing. All right, now let's say you want to run on gasoline. Um, I do have to boot it back up. Please wait. All right, now the reason I had to boot it up is so that I can open the, the air intake all the way. So that valve is fully open. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, grab my gas can. Um, we don't do an onboard gas can anymore. Um, it's a no-go in Europe. So basically you just have this, this set up here. And then you just have a remote gas can. Um, let's turn the, the power on. I'm gonna turn the throttle down just a little bit. It's gonna take a bit because it's gotta prime that gas can. Evolution power system. Thanks for watching.